Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today I'm going to highlight a new arrival here at the dealership. What we have in is a um, was actually a van that we did purchase uh, for our pre-owned inventory and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a 2015 GMC Savannah 2500 seven passenger high top conversion van. Now this is Explorer's limited XSE, so it's top of the line, and as you can tell, it's got a beautiful paint job. Folks, what this is, is a bronze mist metallic faded into a lighter gold towards the bottom. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Explorer's signature uh, chrome grill that they do in all their conversion vans, medallion ground effects with LED fog lights in the bottom, 20 inch, chrome wheels and again in that paint just gorgeous guys now this van does as I mentioned uh, it is a high top but it features Explorer's new sport roof with the glass up in the top and I tell you what it really brings in a lot of light a lot of class uh, when you're inside this vehicle it's just a good good look moving across to the back here you see Explorer signature dual exhaust on the medallion ground effects kit. We're gonna go over some of the safety features that this van has to offer, starting with the rear backup camera located directly to the left of the license plate. Now the way that works, pretty easy guys. Throw this van in reverse and you're gonna get a colored, -ish, colored image on your uh, 6.5 factory navigation screen in there. Now not only does it have backup camera, it's also got these factory backup sensors. So, Guys, you're gonna get that visual in your 6.5 inch navigation screen, but you're also gonna get an audible alert that's gonna intensify the closer that you might become to an object behind you. So those two uh, features work hand in hand and it's just an awesome safety feature to have. And it, quite honestly, something you would expect um, in, in this modern day age of vehicles and all the technology out there. Now, this van does feature Stabilitrack. Um, that's GM's traction control, anti-lock brakes, so it's got all the safety features you'd expect to find. It also does have a factory class three hitch. Now it does have the seven pin wiring adapter already there from General Motors. And this being a three quarter ton van, I believe it'll tow up to 7,400 pounds. Now, because this is a three quarter ton inch seven passenger van, a lot of you ask me, well, does it have doors on both sides? Guys, General Motors discontinued the half, half ton van after the model year 2014. So even the set, and it confused a lot of people because everybody thought to get doors on both sides, you had to get into a seven passenger. Well, GM doesn't make that van anymore. So they're building a short wheelbase, which I have here because this is a 135 inch wheelbase, but they're putting a six liter motor in them now three quarter ton inch or uh, springs on it so it's a three quarter ton so we did lose the doors on both sides <clears throat> moving into the back of this thing take a look at that sky roof up there isn't that great it's beautiful but the interior in this thing is just awesome you've got a tan leather seat with the dark brown inserts explorer stitched in signature logo and all the headrest um, same, same color brown we have in the chairs is the carpet uh, tan wall with some dark brown accents throughout all the windows in the back of this van do have privacy shades um, The neat thing about this window Even though you don't have doors on both sides. You still have a window over here on this side that can be popped That's something that the nine passenger doesn't have to offer illuminated cup holders all the way through this van a uh, little dimmer switch here so you can Control the indirect lighting that's throughout this van so you can you can darken or lighten the, uh, the interior lighting going down the road. So that's a cool feature. USB charging ports on both sides of the rear sofa. Again, more cup holders that are all lit up. Privacy blinds all the way around on every window in the back. Something you don't see very often anymore is a rear um, clothes rack. This van does have a rear clothes rack. Makes it easy to hang up all your clothes if you're going on a long trip. Now the rear sofa is a power rear sofa to slide forward and back and also fold completely flat. Captain's chairs are adjustable as well. They will slide forward and back and do recline 
a great D or pretty much all the way back as you can see right here I don't know if you can judge that but it's all the way pretty much touching the the bottom of the, the bench in the back so they do recline pretty far back and all of them do have the tether hooks down here and the anchor in the back for uh, car seats as far as entertainment goes Samsung smart 30 inch LED television so it's got all the applications you would expect to find in a modern TV and those could be used by just simply turning on your hotspot um, on your cell phone beware make sure you have unlimited data because it will chew it up pretty quick but you can stream Netflix going right down the road and do a bunch of other things with this TV as well now that television is paired up to a Panasonic blu-ray player now this blu-ray player is even a smart blu-ray player as well it'll play blu-rays um, regular DVDs and has a bunch of applications built in it just like the TV now this console is what Explorer calls their gaming console so it's got two USB charging ports a 12 volt socket okay a 110 plug-in another 12 12 volt socket HDMI input and a TV speaker switch now that TV speaker switch is um, how you're going to determine whether you hear the movie through the rear surround sound speakers which are located up here and in the back of the van as well so if you want a true movie like experience while going down the road you can do that well if you don't want to hear all that racket in the van you turn the TV speaker switch to off and that makes all the sound come through this set of wireless headphones that is provided in this van now also this console is a cooler now this is located directly in between the front two seats this cooler is a removable liner so um, it's really easy to get rid of that uh, that water once it melts and it's just a really cool feature to have and I think it's neat how G or how Explorer made the live lid have two cup holders as well now let's go ahead and jump out of the back of this van and move up to the front I can show you everything up front okay now we're up in the front of the van I want to go over these chairs right here they're the exact same comfortable best-in-class conversion chairs out there they're up in the front just like in the back of the van um, they do feature power or, um, power lumbar which is controlled with this switch right here on the armrest heat eight-way adjustable pedestal and power recline now moving over here to the dash we got a real nice leather wrapped wheel here got the nice Denali trim throughout all the um, dash components are all done in the Denali trim steering wheel controls on both sides of the airbag now the ones on the left are gonna um, are there to uh, operate your cruise control and the ones on the right are pretty much tailored to the radio um, can give it voice commands navigation commands and yes it is Bluetooth so you can answer a Bluetooth hands-free phone call <clears throat> as I mentioned outside the van here's your 6.5 inch factory navigation I'll go ahead and demonstrate how the backup camera works put it in reverse there you go and as you can see as I turn that wheel this little graph right here will actually bend and show you where you're gonna end up if you keep the wheel at that that degree of turn um, back to this radio it is an AM FM radio uh, navigations built in it does have satellite radio capability and a CD slot 3.5 auxiliary input if you want to transfer music files that way you got the capability to do that as well guys as far as charging goes up in the front of the van we've got you covered with all, in all three categories we've got a 110 a USB and a 12 volt socket now those are all located over in front for the front passenger and over by the driver you have another 12 volt as well so no matter what kind of charger you got we got you covered in the, in the front of this van heck even in the back of the van um, rear subwoofer controls uh, this van is equipped with a, a kicker subwoofer and amplifier all built into one small little low profile box 
Now that subwoofer is located underneath the rear sofa, but I just like the fact that you don't have to go into the settings of your radio. You can adjust the base right here. Um, as far as power equipment goes, we've got power windows, um, auto feature on the driver's side, power mirrors, um, power locks, keyless entry, remote start. I think that about covers everything. Guys, rear heat and air controls up here in the front so you can control the climate in the back of the van, even if nobody's back there. There are controls in the back of the van for the rear climate so rear passengers will be able to adjust themselves. Now, that pretty much wraps up the inside, the back of this conversion van. And again, this thing is just gorgeous, guys. If you got any questions on this van, maybe I didn't cover all the details. We try to keep this video just as short as possible. Um, or maybe you got some questions on a different van here at the dealership. Please don't hesitate to call. And for those of you that like the videos that we do here, or maybe you're in search of that perfect van you've yet to find, I kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. That's going to better your chances of not missing out on the next great van deal here at Paul Sherry's. Once again, I'm Justin Smith. I appreciate your time. Hope you guys have a, a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.